Right, so onwards with stencil number two and the pack. Um, get, get some more paper. We didn't get around to putting keys on the Greek key. That, that was a bit hopeful, wasn't it? Me thinking I'd be that brief. Right, so this one, they go very nice. Let's start with number one and then add number two, shall we? So let's start with number one. And I've got pale blue there, very pale. Let's put pale blue in the background, shall we? Let's go with pale blue. Ugh. Messy in the background. Right, here we go. Here we go. So, I'm just going to do the same as we've done on the other. So I hope you're still with me. I said that earlier. I really hope when I do a set of videos that you watch them all. Um, I, know, I know you all don't because I can see the viewing figures. Um, there's always the most for the first one. And then, and then strange numbers for the rest. There's no logic to the rest as far as I can see. So I'm going to go in with... Um, I'm doing this in a grid pattern again. Um, so I'm putting it in different directions just because probably for me that's the most interesting. Yeah, I can see the numbers drop, which, you know, hey, it's very hurtful. Very hurtful, chaps. Um, although I can kind of see some of its time and things. Um, but B, I, I hope it's not that you think, oh, well, that was it, because each one builds on the others. So if you keep watching through, um, hopefully each one tells you a little bit more than the one did before. So let's stick one more in there and we'll call that Roger. <laughs> Don't ask me where Roger came from then, because I have not a clue, but we will call that Roger. Right, let's pop that in there. Uh oh, I've got a song on my mind. You might get it sung a lot. Sorry, but Brian Adams, if anybody wants to sing along with me, if I'd launch into it, do feel free to join in. Right, okay, so we're going to call that it, I think, on that one. So, let's go in with stencil number two now. That's, that's Milo just giving it a yip outside. Yeah, quite a loud yip out of Thank you, Milo. Milo, come here. Mind this obedience of a lurcher there. So you can see he just rockets straight into the room. Oh, he hasn't. Yes, I have, Mum. Good boy, oh, Milo. What a good boy. We'd better find a treat for that, haven't we? And as I've got no dog treats, shall we have a little bit of malted milk biscuit? Oh, you lucky boy, what a good boy, what a good boy. He's um he's discovered how to get how to get into the poor next door neighbours and um has been doing some visiting, I think we could say. He's been visiting. Right, so I'm going to do oh that's very dark. No, I don't want it as dark as that, so we'll go to the green. We'll come back to that dark blue. Let's go to this green. It's dried off a bit as this. While I've been arsey farting around. So, hang on a minute. Slight domestic here. Dixter's just walked in. Dixter can hear the sound of, malted, of a malted milk biscuit being broken at possibly a mile away. And he's got his. Well, hang on a minute. I was a good boy. I'm always a good boy. There's good boys. That's it. Good boys. Good boys. Well done. Well done, everybody. Right, okay, so we're going to go in now with a different pattern. So this one has got more flowers on this one. I really love this one. So I'm going to put that down there. Now this is one where really you can start using lots of different elements of the stencils here. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so you don't have to use the whole stencil every time. And actually this one's probably a bit easier because it hasn't got that grass in you know, you could, you see, as this is where my mind starts thinking, because I think I could, you could go along with this boy and put a whole base layer of um, sunflowers in with the leaves at the bottom, and then you could add more flowers in. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that, hey? Maybe we'll do that. So I'm going to put this in. This is gorgeous. I'm loving it. I am just loving it. This is going to look so nice, even though I say myself. And as we said in video one, I believe we always do say it ourselves. Whoops, I've started talking fast again, haven't I? I do apologise, well, to everybody, but particularly to people watching non-English speakers, um, non-native English speakers, because it must be appallingly hard to hear, to listen to me, because I talk at 100 miles an hour. So I am going to try and slow it down a bit and make it all a bit easier. Right, this is looking good. Let's put that one up that way there. 
So now we've got a nice background of lots of sunflowers. We need something on the edge there, I think. A little bit of a leaf there, maybe a bit of that one there. Something down here. Which way? Let's put some sideways ones on. They're really nice to use as singles, these um, these little sunflowers, or this, this particular one. It works very nicely for putting extras in. So we've got blue and we've got green. I'm going to put another layer on of, ooh. Let's go in with some darker blue and just some single flowers. Now, I didn't mean the blue to come out quite as dark as this, but it has. Let's put a bit of a bit more white in. All this means I'm going to have to print for longer. I really am trying to avoid putting so much out, but it's very hard. Right, okay, so let's go in with this and let's just add now some single sunflowers. So let's add some... Wow, look at that, boyo. How delicious is he? He is gorgeous, isn't he? Everything I do, I do it for you. Enjoy that? Oh, yes. I'll give you a bit of the classics if you like, and do a bit of classical. Liking that a lot. Again, I'm moving it, slanting my eyes. Just looking for areas to put this. And now let's just change the to one of the slightly smaller ones. There's two nice small ones here. Let's put some of them in. That's also delicious. This is building up now into a really pretty material. I mean, you can imagine this on fabric um, for dressmaking, home furnishings, and indeed quilting. Textiles, textile art, be absolutely lush. Let's get the medium sized one going now. Isn't that lovely? Just so lovely. That is looking so pretty. I'm so pleased with that. Right, and a little, little one, I think, in there, a little Jimmy. Let's get the eyes slit, see where we're going. I don't want them even, completely even, but I do want to balance across the piece. Right, I'm going to try and add, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put just a little bit, typical me, we'll put a little bit of, which way around do we do this? I'm going to put a little bit, because it's easy to get rid of, of the green and the blue, I think. And get a nice greeny blue. Right, here we go. And let's do this. Ooh, well, we'll fill the gaps. We'll fill some spaces with that. That's pretty. I like that a lot. So all I'm doing is I'm looking for gaps and I'm filling them up and all I'm doing is tweaking my colours. So I'm making them a bit darker or a bit lighter. I'm trying to mix up the different flower heads. I'm just making myself, I must be in a gentle mood today because I'm making analogous pieces here. Analogous simply means colours that run close to each other on the colour wheel. Two or three colours, maybe four in a row and it makes gentle materials and to be honest with you very easy to use materials because um, everything blends nicely on them you're never trying to knock something out um, of course i could change this at any point by adding in red or something really bold which would very much change the feel of this piece i think now what i'm going to do i don't think i am going to add red into this one i might do another one with red in have plenty of time what I'm going to do, oh, malted milk biscuit, we'll keep that. Oh, let's, see what, let's get the big boy out and see what that looks like if we put him in. So, I've got that green on at the moment, so let's put that in. So this is the really big, and this is the single sunflower stencil. This doesn't come in the pack with the doubles, but you can see that you could make a lot of materials out of the double pack of um, sunflowers, and I could certainly have carried on here with just using the, the various sizes from those two stencils. But just to show you how to mix it up a bit as well, let's put some of these across. So this is the really big boy, and he's a single, and he makes, he makes lovely patterns all on his own. But he does add quite a lush feel to this, doesn't he? So we put some bluey ones in. Let's put the green up there. Let's roll a bit of blue into that. Just tweak the colour again. So what I'm doing is lots of colour tweaking here. Building up layers of colour. 
So I'm going back over the ones I've done, not getting twitchy thinking, oh gosh, that's beautiful. I don't want to go over there. I am going over. All I'm doing is looking for gaps, white areas, and walloping a flower in them. And it's that simple and it's beginning to become a really, one of my favorites, really nice, complex material. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And although, you know, I don't want to cover up everything underneath because I've put it there, um, I want that complexity of layers. So I know they'll show through in some places. So I'm quite happy to put a lot on here to make this glorious top layer. I think I'm going to go back in with the biggest one off here because I think that will give a nice change of scale for this top layer of flowers. Yep, yeah, that's delicious. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to have to be blue sun. I'm going to have blue, blue emus. No, I don't mean emus, do I? Blue sun. No, no. Come on, somebody help me. What do I mean? Blue, blue, blue. What did I do? Blue recently, not the birds. The other one, the other one. Flamingos. I'm going to have blue flamingos. And I'm going to have blue sunflowers. I think realism is huge. <laughs> hugely overrated myself. You know, and I could go on with this. This is absolutely delicious, but I could go on with this now and put bumblebees over it if I wanted to. Couldn't I? I could add some bumblebees in there to make it more interesting. I can do anything I want. You know, where you stop is up to you. I undoubtedly err on the side of more is more. I love heavy layers. So if you like the look of the things I'm doing, expect to spend a fair bit of time on one piece you know i'm doing this at the speed of light but it's still taking me 15 minutes to make this material um i'm not aiming and not thinking that i'll be able to do it any quicker than that i'm wondering whether i'd like a little bit of a light green back on top again not so easy to get because of course i've dirted up the roller but never let something like a little bit of difficulty stop me so we'll get a bit more green in there oops quite a lot more green So let's try, because this is a very bold colour I've got here now, so we'll try with this in between, the sort of, the biggest on these. That's nice. It's not, it's darker than I thought it was going to be, but nonetheless, I'm still liking it. So I'm just going to think, I think, just patch a few of these around. Just to put some green back on the top layer. Maybe one or two with the really big stencil. Why not? And particularly off the edges, that can work really nicely. Loving that, really liking that. I can, you can really see those green ones, can't you? I think I have gone too too light on that. So I'll get my blue back out. So nothing wrong with them, but they're too, they're too light for me. So all I'm gonna do is just layer over some of the blue, take a bit of that green off them a bit so that it's a little bit less. They're not too light, that's not what I mean. They're too dark. I wanted a lighter green than that. So can always go back over things the joy of stenciling layering collage is it's finished when you decide it is and i think that you know if that doesn't make your heart sing you've got a funny old heart i think so let's have a look at doing it in two colors shall we so let's get a piece of paper two colors i mean two contrasting colors so let's start ourselves off with, we'll start this time with, with straight in with the big boy and in this quite bright green. And it is quite, it's not bright so much as it's deeper than I was thinking it was going to be. And what I was going to do, never mind, no, never mind, another day, another door. I was going to do trying all leaves along the bottom. We'll see how we do. So let's try this. Let's fill it up. I'm going to add some more white to that green. Oh, I felt <laughs> I felt my arm wobble then. Is that, um, is that a sign of being fat? If your arm does a bit of a wobble, do you think? I fear it may be, chaps. I fear it may be. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that, are we? No. I was thinking only the other day about how much I love things that are fat. Um, I don't mean this in that, that I don't love things that are thin, but I was thinking there are many things, and dogs are one of them, that I think are delicious when they're all round and cuddly. I like them and celebrate them in all their different sizes and shapes. 
and it occurred to me that it's so sad that we don't do that with human beings, particularly women, though I think the men are starting to get a bit of pressure as well now. Tee hee hee. Um, why can't we celebrate women in all shapes and sizes? You know, as long as you're healthy. <laughs> yeah, says the woman that's had a heart attack. But, you know, so long as you're healthy, that's nothing to do with my weight. Um, as long as you're healthy, surely that's all that matters. And, you know, let's, let's, oops. <laughs> Green paint on the boob. Can I, no, I won't come and try and show you that. Let's, let's not go there. Um, celebrate the differences. There's bound to be people that like all different shapes and sizes. So let's just enjoy that, shall we? Thank you, Milo. I wonder what the poor neighbours think about this, 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 this event. Milo! No! Oh, hang on, this could, this could be, no, it's not another. Milo, no! Poor flipping neighbours. Have you come back? Good boy, Milo. Oh, honestly, Dixter is just, his innate cunning is amazing. He knows Milo's going to get a treat for that. Good boy, Milo. So he's there right on the... <laughs> ah, dear, if you want well-behaved, trainable dogs don't get lurchers. They're completely, they're completely not, but they are enough to delight. Isn't that a gorgeous combination of colours? That is so beautiful, isn't it? Um, do you know one of the reasons why these videos go into so many sessions? I mean, part of them is because... I want to show you lots of things. But the other is, I am just enjoying myself so much. I find it quite hard to stop. I just think, oh, that looks delicious. You see, I'm looking at this now. I'm thinking, oh, I can show you how to do this and put something different in the background. You know, something like, say, the, the nice... Um, you see, the old netting one would look great in here, wouldn't it? Because it would look like the sunflowers were climbing on something. If you get my drift. Milo! I think I'll stop shouting, giving myself a bit of a headache, and I think this may have become now just a biscuit earning, a biscuit earning jig from the boys. Okay, so that's really pretty. Yes, it is. Good boy, Milo! Milo gets a biscuit, Dexter gets a biscuit. So let's now, let's dry that one off a bit, and let's change colours. Come on, let's add a different colour in here. Now, sort of thinking red but on the other hand that sienery brown has just caught my eye which 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 sienery brown red i'm going to do the brown very unusual choice for me very unusual i am obviously in a peculiar mood because that's not remotely what i'd normally do i would almost certainly normally go in with red so plenty of white in with that a new pot of white. I'll probably say this every video I do, but you need about four times as much white as anything else, always, and very little black. Right, there we go. Okay, that is a luscious colour. And let's get in with the big boy and see what happens. Look at that. What a colour. And isn't that just beautiful? How happy has it made me? Scale of one to ten. It's got to be up there got to be up there with the tens as that that is lush and you can see the difference it makes when you put on and this isn't just because this is a whopping big flower this is just this is a contrast of color so i'm on the opposite side of the color wheel so i've got blues and greens and the opposites to those would be oranges and reds and i have picked a color this is going in the orange sort of direction but there's red in there as well and that will give me huge contrast in my piece and make it very exciting. Okay, and let's put in some of the. I think we gave that a good dry, didn't we? We gave it a near enough dry. I. Okay, you couldn't. You couldn't call that a good dry. It's still sticky. That's better. Okay, and let's put some of these in there. So some of the smaller flowers. I keep missing the middle out of that one. Try and have a middle on it, shall we? That's nice. Now, at this stage, you could look at this and think, oh, you know, you've made this a very dotty piece of fabric now. It's very sort of discoordinated. Well, one, yes, it is. Two, I'm going to over dye it and I can sort a lot of things out with that. And three, it's always the same answer this. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't get frightened to think, ah, I've made a mess of that, so I'll stop. Quite the opposite. Think, oh, 
keep going, keep going. Oh, that deeper one there, where I put the slightly darker one in, that looks gorgeous. Let's use this one a bit. So I'm trying to use the different flower heads as well. Got some variety there. And if I over dye this in sienna, red, merlot, shiraz, those sorts of colours, you'll notice I'm naming all my colours after wines. No real reason, just that I happen to know what colour red wines are very well. Um, if I over dye it in those colours, it will be a very, very, um, the back colours will come up. I don't mean it'll be a very, very anything. It will be will be a very deep piece, but the blues and greens will pick up and the reds will go back. If I do it the opposite way around, the opposite will happen. So if I dye this in blues and greens, all these reds will come up. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tweak that colour up towards the red now, you know, so I didn't stay away from red for that long. Milo, what have you got? Is it some poor spider getting it? Spiders, spiders and oh, God, I need to start putting Vaseline on my lids. The ultimate use for Vaseline for older women. No, don't go there. I don't know. I have no idea where that comment came from, and I apologise. Right. Oh, and I've put out absolutely shit loads of bread. Right, and mine. Let's get stuck in with it. Milo. Can you see my little assistant here? Da, 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 da. Oh, do, do, do. Playing my piano the other day. Da, da, da. Hello, puppykins. Yes. You're on the you're on the video, Milo. Yes, you are. You're gonna snitch the stencil, aren't you? That's what you're thinking about. Okay, puppy, let's put another one. God, it's horribly, 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 terribly cute. I think, to be honest with you, who's probably looking for the source of the, the lovely biscuits. Okay, this is just delicious. I'm gonna just about get this one done in time. Go and upload these. Let's put some smaller dark red flowers on. And then I can as well go back and put some more green ones in or bluey green ones in if I want to just blend it a bit more. So. I could put in some of these. I don't know that I do. I'm loving this red with a green background. Um, let's keep that one. And let's keep that one. Let's keep a couple dry so I can actually get some blue greens onto them. So let's just use these top two. Let's get that one. It's not very dry, but it can be in a second. and you'll see how that now if I put these in some of these gaps look at that look how that is now blending that up as the most delicious piece of material to use in. this might go in one of my wild pieces which I'm just designing I'll tell you more about those when I've got these videos sorted should have been done ages ago but the way of life sometimes isn't it I'm not gonna, i am not going to beat myself up over it because i don't beat myself up about anything anymore let's get some smaller ones in we kept back that's not too dirty put some smaller ones in there let's put some small green ones in as well that could look quite nice again just add some different tones and texture so this one is done in complementary colors lots of different colors and I'll just um, put a couple more on and then I'll pick up the other one so that we can compare how different they look. Although we've done them both in a very similar way in terms of the printing. You know, this one is analogous, gentle. This one is very much in the compliments. I'm probably going to put a bit more blue-green onto here. Oh, gosh. Screams from the garden. Milo! Maybe as well, this video is about to naturally end. Good boy, what was that noise? Did you beat somebody up out there? My God, it's a little 
folk. My child is a bully. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, I think a bit more of that and I'll probably over dye that in a sort of blue green. So I'm going to stop there. The video starts to end. I'll go and upload these and I will, as ever, talk to you soon. Bye now. Bye.